Where does Drake live? In this video, we're going to give you a house tour inside his luxurious mansion in Toronto, Canada. But first, I'm Sam and welcome to Archute, where we take a step into architecture. Don't forget to give us a like and subscribe for the YouTube algorithm. Oh, and please don't show up to any private residences. For everyone's safety, just don't. Drake is known to have an eye for extravagance, and he not only enjoys the finer things in life, but knows where to get them. The Grammy-winning rapper and business mogul is a tremendous dreamer who has pursued his ambitions all his life. With a net worth of $250 million, it's no surprise that the rapper owns opulent homes in several locations. However, where does Drake reside? Drake always relaxes in style wherever he hangs out, whether in cottages, townhouses, grand estates or penthouse apartments. Aubrey Drake Graham, stage name Drake, was born on 24th of October 1986 and is a man of many talents. The 33-year-old Canadian is a singer, rapper, songwriter, producer, actor and entrepreneur. Drake achieved stardom twice. His first break was at 15 years old as an actor when he played Jimmy in Degrassi, the next generation for seven years. In 2009, the rapper released his third album called So Far Gone, which featured singles that made it to charts like Rolling Stone's list of 25 best songs of 2009. Since then, the Canadian rapper's music career has taken off, and he has become a household name, winning many awards and accruing a lot of wealth. In October 2017, Drake and Sophie Broussard welcomed a son named Adonis Graham. They kept him a secret for almost a year and introduced him to the world in June 2018. Before Drake became one of the most famous entertainers in the world, he was a simple boy who grew up in a humble Toronto apartment. He and his mum resided on Western Road in the working class west portion of the city and participated in minor hockey with the Western Red Wings. In 2000, he finally relocated to Forest Hill, one of the city's wealthy neighbourhoods. Given his unending success and a reported net worth of over $250 million, you may have expected Drake to have a rather wealthy home, but the reality exceeds your expectations. Let's explore some of Drake's lavish properties. His use of the phrase, the embassy, for his main residence in the Brittle Path neighborhood goes beyond irony. Although Drake's mansion was given a more modern twist, it is based on architectural designs from traditional Beaux Arts architecture. The well-known musician follows a maximalist decor from huge chandeliers to high ceilings around his house and living room. The lounge with its low sofas, dim glowing yellow stone and dim but sparkling ceiling stars is concealed between the imperial hallways. Drake's mega mansion measures 50,000 square feet and has amenities such as an NBA regulation size indoor basketball court crowned by a 21 square foot pyramidal skylight. Drake has stated that his favourite room is his 3,200 square foot master bedroom suite with an additional 1,100 square feet of covered terraces. The master suite also has a hot tub, a steam shower, two covered decks, a dressing room and a kitchenette. Drake's mansion made its music video debut in 2C Slide and each room caught everyone's eye for different reasons. As a music and sports fan, Drake has designated hallways in his home for his memorabilia, like entertainment awards and sports jerseys. There is a trophy room specifically for all of its awards that is 35 meters wide and a garage that is 2,000 square feet and can fit 10 cars. The stunning home has a spa, screening theater, massage room, gym, a pool in the basement and a hot tub. But did we forget to mention the restroom with a 4,000 pound carved black marble bathtub? The rapper's residence also has an unusual toilet that plays calming music to help you unwind while you use it. It also displays vibrant lights and the lid opens on its own, making even using the restroom an interesting experience. Lastly, a 44-foot loft room features a bespoke psychedelic concert piano centerpiece. 
It was designed by popular Austrian piano maker Borzendorfer, Japanese artist Takashi Murakami, and designer Ferris Raffoli, and is covered in vivid, colorful skulls. The piano is below a chandelier with over 20,000 pieces of hand-cut Swarovski crystals, originally meant for New York's Metropolitan Opera House. The Hidden Hills estate has three adjacent houses. Known for his parties, Drake made a commitment to the neighbors that if his way of life interfered with their privacy or became out of control, he would buy their homes. He kept his word. Drake invested in two homes there. His YOLO residence is a 6.7 acre Hidden Hills estate that he purchased along with two neighboring homes, one for $3 million and the other for $4.5 million. The YOLO estate is a stunning resort-style residence hidden in Hidden Hills, ultra-exclusive, guard-gated community. During his time there, he has transformed the mansion into a party house. The mansion opens up to 12,500 square feet of picturesque spaces with Tudor-style flourishes and a rustic look on the outside. It has seven bedrooms, nine bathrooms, six fireplaces, a wine cellar, a tasting room, a bar, a recording studio, and a 25-seater movie theater. Other highlights of Drake's house include a primary suite hidden behind a bookshelf covering 2,000 square feet and tacks on the marble tubs. It also has a luxurious swimming pool with cave walls, statues of two women in bikinis, waterfalls, an 80-foot long slide, wet bars, a swim-in grotto, and flat-screen televisions. The YOLO estate also includes a tennis court, a mechanical ball, a sand volleyball court, and equestrian amenities such as horse stable and riding ring. Drake bought this neighboring property situated on a cul-de-sac on the main road for about $3 million to give him maximum privacy for himself and his guests. The house features a four-bedroom open-plan layout with an acre of open space that includes a swimming pool, an 800-square-foot guest house, and a pool outhouse. The Los Angeles house has hardwood flooring, high ceilings, and glass doors that spill towards the swimming pool. This is another property Drake bought as part of the YOLO estate. It's a three-bedroom, single-story house built in the 1950s and has a 2,449-square-foot area. Although this house is not as luxurious as the above homes, it still stands out. The mansion features a brick and exposed beam ceiling where the flooring is made with both brick tiles and wood. One of the most eye-catching features of this house is the presence of an expansive fireplace that divides the living area and dining room. Also, over two acres of a mixture of redwood pine, citrus and pomegranate trees may be found on the property. While in the US, Drake rented this 18,000 square foot Beverly Hills mansion for a few nights. The seven bedroom, 14 bathroom home, nicknamed Elementi, features floor to ceiling windows that offer jaw dropping views of Los Angeles, a primary suite, and a pool. A spiral staircase with Venetian plastering in the lobby descends to the entertainment area. The exterior was designed with a courtyard and a 20-foot cascading water wall sitting behind a 150-year-old Mediterranean olive tree. Drake spent $215,000 per month staying here for the brief time he rented it. However, Drake has not yet stated any plans to move to Beverly Hills full-time. In summary, it's clear that like many celebrities, Drake has expensive taste and you can't expect anything less than extravagance in his properties. That's all for now. Thanks for watching everyone and don't forget to like, subscribe and comment if you like the content.